menyatakan terdakwa Mary Utami terbukti secara sah dan meyakinkan bersalah melakukan tindak pidana mengimpor narkotika golongan 1 jenis heroin menghukum terdakwa oleh karena itu dengan pidana mati Mary Utami has dreaded this moment for 12 long years Mary is a young mother recently divorced from an abusive husband. She's making arrangements for a foreign job as a domestic worker when she meets a nice man named Jerry. Jerry is a businessman based in Jakarta. He is kind and generous to Mary and her children. They begin a relationship and after some time he invites her on a trip to Nepal. The trip is exciting but cut short when Jerry has to return to Jakarta for work. He promises Mary he will see her when she returns. As consolation, Jerry arranges for a new handbag to be delivered to Mary. Mary returns to Indonesia and upon exiting the airport, she realizes that she has forgotten her suitcase and baggage claim. She re-enters and voluntarily submits her new handbag to a narcotics swap screen. Customs officers pull her aside. The new handbag has swapped positive for drugs. Mary is shocked. She dials Jerry for help only to discover that his phone has already been disconnected. She dials again. And again. Jerry has tricked her into transporting one kilogram of heroin in the gifted handbag. The police torture her and threaten her with rape. She is forced to sign a confession. That confession is used against her at trial where Mary is sentenced to death by firing squad. After 12 years of waiting on death row, 14 prisoners, including Mary, all sentenced for drugs, are scheduled to be executed. They will be shot by a firing squad one at a time after dark. Mary is permitted to see her daughter and grandchildren one last time, and she is allowed to pray with a priest. One by one, the guards open the cells of the people who will be executed. They walk their last steps to the firing squad. As dawn approaches, Mary's cell door opens. She is informed that her execution has been postponed. Mary has been spared for the moment, but she remains on death row. She has waited for an answer to her petition for clemency since 2016 without a response. The torture continues. 35 countries retain the death penalty for drug offenses. More than 3,000 people convicted of drug offenses are sitting on death row right now. Many are just like Mary. These sentences are neither just nor effective. To learn more and demand clemency for Mary, visit hri.global/maryutami.